Beer fanatics made their way to downtown Youngstown today for the soft opening of Penguin City's new tap room. It used to be an empty warehouse. Now people are getting to see the end product, which has been inspiring to many people around Youngstown. First News reporter Jacob Thompson has the story. What a difference a year can make. This old abandoned warehouse is now the new home for Penguin City Brewing Company. My days have been so long uh, just brewing and trying to help get everything together. The bar area was packed and the drinks were flowing. It all kicked off at noon. You could even take a tour behind the scenes and see how this Youngstown specialty beer is made. Also in the building is the Dope Cider House and Winery. Owner Hannah Ferguson leasing the space from the brewery. I, you know, I'll be, forever be grateful, but I'm just excited. I'm nervous. It's like all the feelings all at once. She's ready to serve up her drinks in the city she calls home. I've been working on this for five years, but it had to be here. Like, it had to be in my hometown first. Now, after seeing what Penguin City Beer has done with an empty warehouse, it got another mayor thinking what she could do to help her town with a similar vacant warehouse. Why can't we emulate this and repeat this in Struthers in our industrial park? Because that's taking an old, beautiful building and turning it into what, it, what you see now. Struthers Mayor Kat Sacone Miller tells me she's looking at a couple buildings in the Caslo Industrial Park. She wants to replicate how Penguin City has opened up their building to other small businesses like Dope and soon Cockeye Barbecue. So not just having one place, one, one business, one entity occupy the whole thing, but definitely look at different spaces and how we can section it off. Penguin City owners say they're planning their official grand opening in August. Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News.